Hello, hi, and welcome back to the National Parents Union. I am Kelly Williams Bollard, and this is the Parent Effect. And today I'm so excited. I have a wonderful guest who I just recently met. Her name is Julie Dwayne. Are you there? Hello. Hi, Kelly. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for coming on. I really, really appreciate you being a guest today on this beautiful Wednesday. Oh my gosh, thank you for inviting me. I, I can't even believe that I'm talking to you right now. It's just such a crazy thing that I, I get, got to meet you and now I'm talking with you. <laughs> it's a blessing on both ends. I, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, before we go into too much, I want the audience to know who you are, uh, what you do. I know you're a teacher, so let's elaborate. Tell them what do you teach? Huh? Oh, okay. You got it. My name is Julianne Dweck. Um, I have been teaching now. This is, I just finished, today was my last day of teaching classes for this year. Uh, and this was my 17th year teaching. Um, I teach, I'm a music, I'm a musician. I'm a singer and a songwriter. I have music out produced. I produced two albums and a couple of uh, singles, but as my job, I'm a mu music teacher and I'm just really passionate about it. I love doing it. I, I got to this place after years of being a special education instructor, um, a substitute teacher, and for many years, a second grade teacher. And I landed as a music teacher and I don't think I'm looking back. I know that's right. That's a beautiful, I mean, if you're gonna do a class that is one. Music is every, every, you know, kids love music. I know I did coming up. It so. is, it is, it really, I realized I was a second grade teacher for about six years and I, I incorporated music class because I was always a musician as one of the subjects. And I, I started to realize it was my favorite thing to teach. Mm. And I started having the kids write their own songs and, and really specialize in their own self-expression. And it, I realized it's like my favorite thing. <laughs> And so when I got to make that transition to do that with the kids more, it's just such a blessing. Good, good. Tell me, I know we've been in this pandemic and this is what, our 14th, maybe 15th week. So how has that transition been for you, you know, from being in, in the classroom to now doing, you know, Zoom meetings? It is hard, Kelly. I have to tell you, um, there are definite bright spots and things that I found in teaching music through Zoom that were able to be even stronger. Um, but in some ways, the year feels, like I said before, a little bit deflated um, in the way my, my end of year ended. Um, I did all my music classes through Zoom. A lot of the attendance dwindled, um, but the yeah. students that came on were just so excited to be there and even like did my little songwriting sessions and zoomed in with me privately. And I learned a lot of new technology that I hadn't known before, how to make little videos with their singing uh, at the same simultaneously. Cause you know, it's the technology is not there. Right? You have to kind of learn iMovie and GarageBand and it's a lot of learning for me. And some students really like grew and, and they, 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 they shined. And, and that was special for me. And, but a lot of students just didn't show up. So it was kind of like a little hard. Now, what instruments do you teach and what instruments do you know how to play? Well, I started off as a pianist and most of the things I've ever done were on piano. I had taught myself guitar a few years back, but, and I find that to be a really fun instrument to bring in the classroom. And just like an even fun instrument to perform with because it's a little more intimate. Um, I teach, well, I teach the young kids. I teach from first grade to fifth grade. The young ones, we do a lot of percussion work. Um, we play with glockenspiels, which is just kind of like a xylophone. Uh, we learn how to play boom whackers, which are really fun. They're these big plastic colorful tubes and they make different uh, note, notes, each one. Uh, as they get older, we learn ukulele. I play ukulele also, and we learn how to play the recorder to a lot of parents' dismay because it's a very noisy instrument. <laughs> I always send out a letter home like, you were, your child just got a recorder. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm teaching 
teaching them to blow softly, um, but it's it's fun. It's it's a lot of fun. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Now I want to tell the audience how we came about to knowing one another. Um, what maybe a week ago? It was about a week ago. I got tagged on Instagram, and it was so beautiful. Like I'm looking at this beautiful lady, and she's playing this guitar, and I'm like. I was trying to catch up with what you were saying because I'm like, wait a minute, that's that's about me. And so I, it brought me to tears. Like I was so emotional with it. I was like, I think she's talking about me. And then I was like, maybe she read the book or because it was so detailed. I was like, you know, so then I, I, I think I inboxed you and I was just like, thank you so much. And then I was like, oh my God, you know, it's just a, such a blessing that I had this opportunity. I, I wanted to bring you on. I wanted, I wanted my listeners, my viewers to hear your beautiful song. And not just that, it goes beyond, it's way deeper than me. Your song is about what is going on with our country. Can you talk about that? You know, how you came about writing this song? Of course, of course. Um, well, like so many of us, it, the, current, the current climate and the current events have just been so upsetting. Um, disturbing and uh, the way I interpret when I'm feeling something strongly like many musicians and artists is you turn to your artistry um, and of course with the pro I've walked in many of the protests and and with um, the murder of George Floyd and talking to many people you know I had I, 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 I work in a, in a private day school um, I've had different circles and talking to many people was sometimes inspiring and sometimes really disheartening and and it made me angry it made me upset um and i did turn to my music but i had started the song and it wasn't working and then i i somehow came across your story kelly and i i read about um this young this young woman this this mom who was trying to, you know, to become a teacher and and have her kids be in school safely and i i read a bunch of articles about you i just was I don't know, I was drawn to your story. I, I guess I also had two young girls when I was going to school to be a teacher myself. And I think that my, our girls are about the same age. Yeah, I think so. I have, I have two older girls now and I have one son. Um, and I don't know, there was something about your story that I felt really um, connected to and moved to. And the fact of how you, you had to, you just put your dad's address on, on the application. I was like, I would do that in a second, like a heartbeat. It's not even a thought. And 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 your and your quotes and things that you had said about your time when 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 you were put in the cell and and afterwards and the way you spoke about things afterwards and I was I, I was really moved by your story and by you by by who you are and the way um, that you share your story and just was really inspiring and that's when my song was finished and your your story became the second verse of, the first verse of my song was just basically it's basically about what was going on. Um, and the second verse is about your story. Um, and the title is Lazy, Lazy Ethics. About Lazy ethics. Lazy so ethics. that's the title right now. Who knows? It really was written. It, it was completed literally like maybe two days before I tagged you. So maybe like a week and a half ago. Week and a half ago. Now, how can they find your music? How can they find this beautiful song? Thank you. So this song um, is not out yet in its complete entirety. I am going to be recording it hopefully in the coming weeks when I can get into my producer's studio or see see what I could do. I mean, my music is available on Spotify, on everywhere, everywhere you buy music, listen to music, iTunes, Apple Music, wherever you could look up my name. This song, I'm hoping that it'll be released. You'll be the first to know, Kelly, when it's when it's released. Thank you so much. And just in case many people may tune in um, and many pe people may not know exactly my story. Um, I'm sure a lot of people don't know my story. So in a nutshell, I will say what happened. Years back, I had, I had just gotten a divorce. I had two daughters from my marriage. I was in an abusive marriage. Got a divorce. Enrolled my kids in my father's district. I was in college. Um, I thought, you know, that would help, you know, and my father told me to, you know, go ahead and enroll my kids into my parents' school district. So I did. My dad never did. I did. Um, 
I guess they hired a private eye. Well, not that I guess that they did. They hired a private eye. He followed me around for, I don't, I can't remember now. It's been, uh, it's been some time, but I want to say maybe 12 days or something like that. Uh, I might be wrong. It's been too long. And a lot of things I have blocked out, um, but he did follow me around. He will let me, he said, I didn't live in the neighborhood and I did not. They wanted me to remove my kids. I tried to get something called a grandparent power of attorney, which I was successful. I was able to get that. Um, the school did take it, but that was, I guess, a little too late. So they wanted me to remove my kids. The judge that June, the judge uh, sent me a letter. I did remove my kids from the school district. 18 months later, I received an indictment. 18 months later, remind you, my kids were no longer in that district. Wow. They, yeah, they had not been in that district for 18 months. So I got an uh, indictment. It, Sorry. Yes, it was Ohio versus Kelly Williams Bullard, and my father received one as well. We both go to trial. Um, I, you know, of course I get, I get sentenced. My dad gets sentenced. My dad dies in jail. He never comes home. It, it, it's a lot of details. And I know we're, this is really not about me. I really want to showcase you. Um, one day I probably will maybe have, um, you know, elaborate and go into deep detail. But what I want to say is when I was listening to your song and I am on the second verse and when you started describing and when you started talking about the smell, because I, all I can remember is that when I went to jail, as, I've never been in jail before. And the moment the sheriff's, the sheriff's opened the door for me to walk through that, where all the women were at, I literally, and why would I even think of this smell as sin? I, that would never even come to my thought process. I never thought of anything smelling like sin. So when I walked through the door, I, I smelt it. It was thick. And you can tell it, it smelled like sin. And I never would have ever said anything in, in that. And it was no reason for me to ever say that, you know, it just had this smell. And so I was like, oh my God. So I just started uh, the whole time I was there. I just constantly, constantly was reading Psalms 91 and 27 and 23 every day, several times a day. And I stayed to myself. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. What I want people to hear right now is Julie. You need to show these people your your music, your art, your what you do, how great you are. And let's go. I wish I had drum roll or something, but I oh, don't. Oh, stop it. You, you, your story. And guys, if you don't know Kelly's story, if that's the first time you heard of it, just keep reading. Keep reading because it's just, and even just things when she's interviewed later and everything that you've been through, it, you are such a testament. You are a testament to so much courage and resilience and open heartedness. I, I'm just like, you're so inspiring. So guys, if, if you don't know her story and know deeper about her than that she's a host on this show, you gotta, you gotta look into it. But yeah, this is whatever, it's just a song. It's just a song. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I was really, I, I just randomly tagged her, by the way, on Instagram. I was like, let me see if this woman I, maybe she'll like care if I wrote about her and then you wrote me that it's just such a such a fluke so crazy um so here's the song it's called lazy eyes protesters march peacefully is broken glass all you see policemen on bended knee one takes a life robotically another kneels in solidarity a child cries for a lost daddy lazy ethics is it fair lazy ethics do you care Keep it tight. A mother wants more 
heart for her child lies about where she resides to give her girls a classroom where the halls are safe the walls aren't bare now when she's found she's punished well she broke the law couldn't she tell the smell of sin surrounds her cell smell of sin surrounds her cell Lazy ethics, is it fair? Lazy ethics, do you care? Who is wrong, who is right? Keep it simple, keep it tight. Keep it simple, keep it tight. More love, less hostility. More kindness, less bigotry. Teach one's humanity. Lazy ethics, is it fair? Lazy ethics, do we care? Who is wrong? Who is right? It's simple. Lazy ethics, is it fair? Lazy ethics, do we care? Who's wrong, who is right? Keep it simple, keep it tight. Keep it simple, keep it tight. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. That was fabulous. Thank you. That was absolutely, whew, I didn't think I was gonna ah, cry, but I did. I'm sorry, that's just beautiful. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I don't even know what else to say. What else to say? <laughs> I'm just so excited people can find your music not just that song, you are a creator, you do wonderful. Um, I want people to, you know, follow you. Oh, that's, tell the people how they can follow you on social media. What outlets do you have? I am on Instagram, which is where we connected. Everything's pretty easy. Like, I think my name is there on the screen, is it? That's how you spell my name, like the cut vegetables, Julianne. <laughs> and, um, you can find me on Instagram, Julianne Dweck. You can find me on Facebook, Julianne Dweck Music. Um, I have a website, Julianne Dweck Music. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, a lot of my energy is to my teaching. Um, but I, I, I really, when something inspires me, I go back to my own music and, and you know, that's what we got to do. We got to find ways to, to, to Yeah, we have to find ways to what they sometimes people say Wusa and and um you know and and you with music and uh being that you work in a school you know are there anything that you can help with maybe if we have some teens watching right now is there any things that you can you know any suggestions that you have I mean my you know I, I just know from my own teaching experience one of the reasons I love music education so much is the power it has to open minds music particularly i've yeah. taught every subject i taught science social studies i taught math you know everything reading writing and there's something about music that i think opens people's minds i mean in in my teaching i really try to specialize in um ex exposing the kids to multicultural music music yes. from every country that sounds not not anything that sounds like it's on the radio music from different religions just to really and and from the youngest ages because when something pops on and they hear something and it sounds strange to them it's just an education right to teach these kids and, and one of the things i always say is you you want to say like you'll hear a first grader say that's weird right that's weird or that looks weird when you see maybe different traditional garb or different style of dance or different vocal inflection based on the different style of music, right? And a lot of little kids, their, their go-to is that's weird. And, and 
something that by the time they they have me for a couple of years, they know never to say that because they say, well, we don't say something's weird just because it's different. What we we get curious, we get interested, and maybe maybe you'll end up loving something that you never knew you would have loved. And and it's kind of like a retraining. And with music, people can fall in love, right? You can't really fall in love with history as much. I mean, not me. I was never a history buff. But there's something about music. If you if you connect with someone's music, you can fall in love with them. And it makes no difference where they're from or what they look like or what religion they are, or what color their skin is, right? So or what, what kind of hair they have. It's just you fall in love. And, and I love getting these kids, especially because I'm in a private school that's very pretty homogeneous in the population, getting them to fall in love with people that look different from them, that are from different places. And that's like a big piece for me. Um, and I think as educators, that's our, our goal is to like help these kids be better humans, right? Yes, 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 be better human, humans and, 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 and to not be so broad minded. Oh, let me tell you. So on Friday nights, me and my mom, we get together. And she, my mom, you know, she's from, she's from North Carolina. And so she loves, you know, Johnny Cash. She loves Walk the Line. She loves, um, just the other day, we were listening to uh, Tennessee Whiskey. I mean, those songs are awesome songs. Yeah. And if people don't, if you don't, if you keep yourself uh, narrow minded, You'll never know what this world is about. This world is fascinating and it's beautiful. Yeah. And you just have to understand those things and, and leave all that other mess that, 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 I don't know what that is. I don't even want to say like the word hate and all that kind of stuff. Leave that stuff be behind so you can grow with your, with your wisdom and with who you are and, and teach the next generation of kids all the opportunities. Never, never stay narrow-minded. That right there will keep you will keep you you know uh stationary i guess you know or whatever it won't it won't broaden your mind um now before we came on we did you did show me something that was a cool little gadget can you show the audience yeah, you're so funny so so i also um i'm a, i'm a i'm a practicer of you know it's all the rage but i really have i'm certified in what's called mbsr which is mindfulness based stress reduction mm -hmm. um it's about mindfulness um, I think music music lends itself to that too, right? So being in touch with your own body, your own thoughts, your own feelings, and being in control of your reactions, right? So breath, breath, it's all about the breath. So everyone that takes my class from first grade to fifth grade, every day we start class with this guy. It's called the breath ball. If you want to get one, if you're a teacher watching this, um, it's called a Hoberman ball. You could look it up on Amazon. It's called a Hoberman, like H-O-B-E-R, man. Um, we, we, we have a lot of fun with it. I use it to like teach kids to sit up straight, roll your shoulders back, right? And it's just a visual cue of the breath rather than me telling the kids, breathe in, breathe out. We start the lesson. And a lot of time, I'm a specialty teacher. I come in and they just had math or reading or writing and and the, the, the teacher's like, get, get to the spots for music. I come into the classroom and it's like, you, I, can I can sense the like, the, the, uh, what you know. it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, um, it's not really tension. It's just like a lot going on, right? It's, 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 it's just the brain and the body is just on. So yeah. um, I, I have everyone sit quietly. I almost don't say anything. Everyone knows to come sit down and I, and I pull out my breath ball and I, I show them how your body should look. Mm -mm -mm. Right, and then they just kind of follow. Your belly should be following the ball. So your breath is in, your body's full of breath and then you follow the pace of the ball if possible. So we do a couple of nice slow ones. And I also need this, Kelly, because I already go from one class to another and I'm like, what the heck am I teaching? I forgot what, what I just did fifth grade now to do second. So this breath, like it brings me back. I, I make believe it's for them, but a lot of it times for me. And sometimes we'll just do like a funny one, like let's just wake up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold your breath, <sighs> release. And you know, just do all stuff like that. Um, because I, I try to, to weave in some mindfulness practice um, and really just like, settle we need everyone needs a second right yeah we just keep That's jumping it. from thing to thing um yeah we all need it <laughs> that, that was so much fun right there thank you so much i just appreciate you coming on i appreciate you 
being here. Um, I want you back. I want you to come back. And whenever you have something that you want to, you know, I don't care what it is, you make sure, you know, we stay in contact with one another. Um, before we go, I do want to tell the people that tuned in today that I understand and I know that you can be anywhere in the world that you want to be. But today you decided to check me out and to check out my beautiful guest. I don't care if it was for 5, 10, 20 minutes, but you tuned in and you were listening to what we were talking about today. That in itself, I am so honored and I am so grateful. Um, I hope you guys, you know, check me out next week. Again, I come on every Monday and Wednesday, six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I want Julian back. I want you back. Um, I'm honored to be here and I would be honored to come back. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kelly. All right. Have a great blessed night. Bye-bye. You too.